Hello, Joe here. How are you doing? And welcome to another episode of Make It Happen Monday. And I'm recording this from Trang in Thailand. And I'm speaking really fast because there is this really loud longboat just down below here. And I've got a feeling he's about to fire up his engine again. And you may not hear a word I'm saying. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I included a bit of footage of that, I think, at the beginning of this video. But anyway, uh, so I'm recording this from Trang um, in uh, in Thailand. We're here for a few days. And I thought it'd be really cool to, to record a video while I was here and actually it's based on um, something that's just been happening recently I've been uh, sending out offers for um, a product in order to help you get an Amazon business off the ground it's a business that I wholly 100% believe in um, at the moment we've generated over 1.7 million dollars in less than 18 months in this business we've had lots and lots of colleagues and friends um, doing similar stuff and it just is really a phenomenal business model um, to jump on board right now but you know, it's not cheap. It's not. It, it, it's. It's. You know, it's an actual business. No business that you get into is ever cheap. Whether it's money that you're investing or it's time you're investing, uh, the simple fact is getting a business off the ground is going to cost you um, at some point. Uh, but this business, this requires upfront investment. It requires upfront investment if you want to learn how to do it from the best of the best. It requires upfront investment to purchase your stock. Um, it requires upfront investment, obviously, to to kind of get your product off the ground and invest in some marketing strategies and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so I, I get a lot of emails from people that say, gosh, Joe, you know, I'd love to do this, um, but I just can't simply afford the training. I cannot do that. If I've got a layout for stock and I've got to do all of this, then I can't afford it. And so I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I wanted to say that, you know, when you think you can't afford something, you can. You know, it's as simple as that, because if you actually went through your yearly expenses and looked at the amount of times you went to the cinema and the amount of times you went out for drinks and the amount of times you went out for dinners and the amount of money you spend maybe on vices <laughs> um, and all of that kind of stuff and added all of that up and then asked yourself how badly you really want to start your business, then it's amazing how much money that you can actually find in, you know, saving on certain expenses. Other than that, when I first built my business, my offline business, um, I literally begged, borrowed and stole. I mean, stealing obviously, uh, not quite, but you know, as the saying goes, I begged, borrowed and stole to, to, to find nearly 50 grand to start that business because it's an offline business um, and therefore a lot more investment is required. I need, you know, business premises, equipment, staff, all of that kind of stuff. Oh, here we go. The longboat's moving. The longboat is moving. You should see it coming into shot any minute now. Anyway, I'll keep talking. Um, yeah, so I wonder what they've just caught actually. They've been all standing there all morning, so I don't know if they've been catching a big jellyfish or something. But anyway, so you know, I had to, to really work tooth and nail, and I went everywhere friends, family, banks, goodness knows what. You've all heard the stories of Walt Disney, who went to 900 and something banks to get his funding to set up Disney World. Um, there's a fantastic couple, I can't remember the name of the coffee franchise now um, but they built a coffee franchise and I think they went to 90 or something different banks in order to get the funding they required to build their business you know so it takes a bit of creative thinking it takes a bit of um, you know thinking out the box and a bit of wheeling and dealing and all the rest of it but if you want it bad enough if you want it that badly then you will find the investment in order to go and do it however if you come up an absolute blank and you really can't you know, if you've tried everything and you're there and you think, I absolutely can't, then don't let that stop you. You know, I have, I've written back to so many people where I've said, you know what, if you absolutely cannot do this, then don't let that be the end. I've, I've given you a free PDF on the key steps to, to start. Follow the PDF, Google is your friend, and start to do it yourself. Just because. You, you hit a brick wall and you decide that you cannot invest in a course does not mean that you cannot go out and using Google and YouTube and all the search engines and any free stuff you can get your hands on and information and all the rest of it, that you cannot go out there and do it yourself. Yes, will you make more mistakes? Probably. Yes, will it take a bit longer? Probably. But will you do it? Anybody with the tenacity and the determination to get out there and make something happen will make it happen with or without a mentor and training helping you. Does a mentor and training help? Of course it does. Yeah. Does it shortcut your success? Of course it does. Does it stop you in your tracks if you can't get it? Of course it doesn't. You have the skills. 
you have the brain power and all the information you need is out there for you right now online. So don't let that stop you. If you want something bad enough, don't let anything get in your way. Just get out there and make it happen. So what's your challenge for this week? How do I create a challenge out of that? I'm not sure. Your challenge for this week is if you have run up against a brick wall and it doesn't matter what you're trying, you cannot gather the funding for a training or a course or you don't have a mentor or something, don't let it stop you. Number one, know what it is you really, really want to achieve. Number two, understand that Google is your friend and nearly all the information you require to go out there and get what you want in life is out there in line for you today. And number three, quite simply, is make it happen. Don't let anything stand in your way. So that's it. I'm off for brekkie. Thanks very much for watching. Have an awesome week. And please remember, make it happen. Have an awesome week. See you later. Bye-bye.